chance to collect himself now as he asks for time. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Going to one. They say you win. I got the count. Oh, win two. Next offering is fouled back. Kicks and deals. And one and two. Next pitch, not close, up high. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. So the batting order turns over. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, Cedric Mullins. To third. Whips it to first. Two up, two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Around second now, going for three. Judge hung up in a rundown now. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Bradley Zimmer. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Next offering is foul back. The 0-2. And there's a foul ball. Going to count one and two. Round ball left side. On to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now it's Marcus Simeon. He swings and fouls one off. These guys have been very aggressive early in the count, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient, take some pitches, see if you can extend those at-bats and get some base runners on. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And two away now. Next for Cincinnati, Tyler Stevenson. He's looking to hit the ball the other way in 99% of his at-bats. But if you make a mistake middle in, he can touch you up for a four-bagger. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this. But he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. And welcome back. And here's Corey Seeker to hit. The pitch. And a good eye there. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Now fly ball to right center. Zimmer on his way over. 
Puts it away for the out. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. That's towards center. Zimmer drifts towards it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. One for two. In the air, left field. Pollock racing over to make the catch. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now here's the Reds' leadoff man, Jorge Polanco. Wind in the pitch. And that one just nope. misses. A ball and no strikes. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now it's Charlie Blackman. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base slugging, too. And it stays fair. Makes the turn and heads for second. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Stepping in, Mike Moustakis. And that one fouled off. Man at second. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Tatis at second with two down. Next offering is fouled back. Here's a one-two. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Here in Cincinnati. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. 
Castillo back to work. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it. Zips it across. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. And next for New York, Jonathan VR. Jonathan VR. To the right side, Simeon collects to first. And a couple of quick outs. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, Luis Torrens. First offering misses badly for ball one. And there's the strike. And the right hater deals. That misses the zone. Now two balls and a strike. But 2-1. Foul ball there. The pitch. And another ball. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Here's the second baseman, Brad Miller. Aaron Bummer comes on now, and he'll do his best to keep this close. Marwin Gonzalez up to hit here. Check swing, but he went too far, and that's strike one. Bomber deals. Good eye in that spot. And now it's one and two. Foul ball. That one lifted to left. Pollard settles underneath it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that'll do it. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now the left fielder, A.J. Pollock. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Strike one. So far, this guy's been able to tease the strike zone, gets those swings and misses. Somebody's going to have to shorten up, be a little more patient, and make this guy work in the zone a little more. 0-2 oh now. The punch out there. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Alec Bohm, the next to hit for the Reds. And that's in there for strike one. Pretty amazing, his first pitch strike percentage, over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. And here is Bradley Zimmer. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bond. 
ripped on a line. Castellanos makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at Great American Ballpark, digging in, Cedric Mullins. The center field, Cedric And a pitch. And he lays down a bunt. Polanco. Throw to first oh. is in time. And they get Mullins for the out. Aaron Judge digs in now. One for three. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Reds. Jimmy Garcia. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. And Judge spoils that one. Next pitch misses, and the count even one and one. There's the swing and a miss. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. Up the middle, Simeon collects it. And he beats it. He's safe. Man at first with one gone. So now it's Corey Seager. Next pitch downstairs. And that's ball one. At the belt and fires. And he was nowhere near that one for strike one. And the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Left hand batter waits. And that one wrapped foul. Right hander kicks deals. Into center and a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. First and second, one out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Nick Castellanos. Looking for some insurance, or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. In the dirt. Now he steps out of the box as he asks for time. One out, runners at first and second. hit but right at him and left throw and it gets away so first and second with two outs Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees Tyler Matzik will take over on the mound he has a great slider with tons of movement
First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. This one in the air right field. Blackman settles under this one. Makes the play and it's out number three. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. A wide to kick the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Man, he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Got him! And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Seeger fires over to first, and a couple of quick outs. So back to the top of the Reds lineup, and now Jorge Polanco. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. That one is absolutely belted. Pulls it in on the warning track. Welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Spencer Strider. It's his job to keep his team in the game. The wind of the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Strike two. Now time called at the plate. And down on strikes, and there's one down. Jonathan VR stepping in now for the Yankees. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Backdoored him with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. And that one is in for a strike. Timeout asked for and give it at the plate now. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. And up next for New York, Luis Torrens. First pitch, and he just misses. And the 1 0. Good eye right there. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Mm -hmm. 
The pitch. And a foul ball. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two outs. Man at first. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Marwin Gonzalez. First offering misses the mark. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Here comes a pinch. Swing and a bouncer. In time to bowl. That's the third out. And welcome back. Now it's the right fielder, Charlie Blackman. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. First pitch, not close. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. In the air, right field. That's back there. Turning and looking, and it's gone. That fires up the home crowd, and we are tied. It's 1-1. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Fernando Tatis Jr., the next to hit for the Reds. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. That one misses in the dirt. Next offering is in for a strike. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And a count one and two. Strike three, got him swinging. And that's the first out. Now it's the Reds' DH, Mike Moustakis. And first offering is fouled off. Castellanos racing over to make the catch. At the play, A.J. Pollock. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. They say it went. Gathers and throws to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. here in Cincinnati. We're in extras here and stepping in for the Yankees Cedric Mullins. Cedric. We're back in a new arm on the mound as we start extras. Joely Rodriguez, a runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. Of 
corner infielders up on the grass expecting a bunt. And here it comes. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth. So here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button. Try to get some more runs and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. Next offering is in for a strike. And now the lefty. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Powell makes the catch. One away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Judge swings through it for strike one. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Runner leads away at second. And a foul ball, he stays alive. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Zimmer, as this one sized up, brings it in. Runner tags up for third. Now it's the shortstop, Corey Seager. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. First offering, and it just misses. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. I'll tell you this, that's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. Next offering upstairs. That one in for a strike, two and two. The 2-2 two -two now. Popped up left side. That's a base hit as a run scores. Well done. Drives in the run. Not much he can do about that one on the mound. Made a good pitch inside and jammed him. He just found a way to fight it off the other way and make it work. And now Nick Castellanos. Line drive. And that's a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just... just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. the batter now Anthony Rizzo and he swings and misses at the initial offering next one misses and that's ball one
The next offering misses. The count now two and two. Next offering is fouled back. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. Anthony Rizzo circles the bases. And they boost their lead. It's 5-1. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So two away with nobody on. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And now the count is even. Hey, he doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. To the left side, but it is well foul. Time asked for at the plate, and he gets it. And a pitch. Come back to the mound. In time to bowl. And that's the third out. That's not human. That's fantastic. Moving like magic. That's just sick. The throw, the shot, the move, the catch, the kick. They make you say that's just sick. Because you're playing it with the best. Back here at the ballpark. And here's the first baseman, Alec Bohm. The first baseman. Diaz back to work. Going on. Diaz, he's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff that results in a ton of strikeouts in a tough spot like this. That is a big time benefit. Check on the runner to second, but way too late. Safe there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. And stepping in is the speedy Bradley Zimmer. As a hitter, when a guy like this comes into the game, you feel like he's standing on top of you, and it's just attack mode coming right at you, expecting to get a swing and miss. You'll one. Awkward swing there from the big left-handed hitter. Off balance as well. Here's the 0-2. Back up the middle and a base hit. Pollock around third. He scores. It's 5-2. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. In there safely. Now it's going to be Marcus Simeon. Swings through that one. 0-1. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Righty delivers. And a count one and two. Zimmer at first, one gone. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That's out number two. Here's the catcher to hit, Tyler Stevenson. Diaz throw to first. Not in time. He's safe. You know, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off. It's over. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. 
Yankees up by three. And here in extra innings. Zimmer runs. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Mullins gets under it. And that'll do it. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out.